Barnabas is the spaghetti strangler. That's a pretty big conclusion to jump to, sir. Do me a favour, Hanover, check the witness for the second murder. All right, uh, give me a moment. It's Rupert B also. Now check the rest. Every murder, every witness. They're all Rupert B, sir. And he's been hanging under our noses this entire time. But it can't be him, can it? He has a neat little moustache. Hanover, sometimes I truly worry about you. We've just established that Barnabas was the witness. He could have said anything to get us off the trail. The only time we ever got close to him, he scampered up a wall and escaped. You remember? I do remember, yes. And Barnabas has the skills. We witnessed that ourselves on the rooftop. I spent six weeks in plaster. That's right, because you tried to jump without prior training. You told me to go first, sir. Benefits of leadership, dear man. Regardless, that old butler has got to be our man. It explains why he was there, why he gave us a bum steer at every occasion, and why we keep looking for a changing villain. The only thing we don't have is motive. Maybe he's gone crazy, sir. I'm sure working for Loomis would be enough to drive anyone mad. It's no excuse, Hanover. People have died. They'll keep dying if we don't stop him. So what's the move, sir? We've got to see Lou. We have to warn him. He might be next. This is it, Hanover. I can feel it. What is it? Sorry for the interruption, sir, but there's been another murder. The Strangler? Looks that way, sir. Brain out the head holes and all. Damn it. Who's got it? Inspector Legume's on the case. He's about as useful as a second hole in my... He says they've got him, sir. What? The Strangler is in custody. They got Barnabas. Barnabas, sir? Yes, we suspect he's the Strangler. That name is unknown to me. The man they've got is a foreign fellow by name of... Uh... Hold on, I uh, wrote it on my hand to tell you. Cherney. Sorry, sir, palms all sweaty. Uh, Toys Ant Mountain Dayux. Toys Ant Mountain Dayux. That's what my palm says, sir. That's what Legume told me to put on there. If I didn't know the man was an utter buffoon, I'd think he was taking the piss, Hanover. He's right there, sir. I don't mean Cherney, I mean Legume. Who was the witness, do you remember? I'm unsure. Legume did the questioning himself. Thank you, Cherney. Tell Legume message received, but also tell him to be careful, all right? Yes, sir. Well, that certainly makes things easier, doesn't it? Does it? How so? Well, they've got their man. Please at least attempt to do your job properly, Hanover. I'd bet good copper that the witness was one Rupert backstabbing brigand Barnabas. You think Barnabas strangled someone else and pinned it on some poor foreign fellow with an unfortunate name? That's what I'm trying to convey to you, yes. Still, sir, it's highly unusual for a stranger to be nearby at the time of a murder. It's quite plausible that the reason he's been so evasive is because he's not from these parts. Maybe has no connections to speak of. Everything is put here for a purpose, Hanover. That's a bit too philosophical for me, sir. No, I mean it's all... <sighs> Never mind. We'll speak to Toy's aunt when they bring him in, and you'll see. This whole thing is just the Strangler's distraction.